This video on Captain Plugins is brought to you by haters. Haters, find them in the comment section. It's a hot and smoky day here in LA, but I'm here to talk to you about Captain Plugins and how to hook it up to hardware. What hardware you say? Well, I'm gonna be hooking up to the Digitone and the Sub 37, and then also generating things through the new Captain Melody idea box and being able to import MIDI data and edit some of your stuff, which is really cool. If any of this gets confusing to you, I'm going to be selling a template that sets up the Digitone and Captain plugins. So if you're using one or the other, you can just delete the other tracks you don't need. But the cool thing, at least for me, is that uh, it's going to be one dollar. I buy that for a dollar. And this is going to go towards what I'm about to start, a little campaign called Berlin or Bust, where I'm trying to get to Ableton Loop in 2020. So if you dig what I'm doing and you want to support, Please grab the template. I have other things on theproducerskitchen.com that you can grab as well. And uh, hopefully I can get to Berlin next year and maybe you'll be there too. We can hang out. Without further ado, let's get into the video using Captain Plugins 3.0 and hardware. So here's the track. I'm going to play little snippets of the sections and then we'll get into uh, sequencing it with hardware. So here we're going to add uh, a melody in a little bit. I use the rhythm from Captain Chords 2 to create this rhythmic pattern instead of it just playing whole notes all the way through. And uh, if you hear the kind of skipping between the sections, I don't know if that bothers you. It doesn't bother me because this will eventually go into all my clips and live and I'm not going to be playing out of Captain plugins. It'd be cool if it didn't stutter like that, but I don't care. Also, we have Captain Beat here, which is in beta. I'm not going to mess with it until it's out of beta, just in case something weird happens. Um, and we'll review that at another time. But I am using it. All right, so over here we have the Digitone, and it's ready to go. Uh, just to note, um, when we're going to map these, or we're going to trigger these, this is channel 1, 2, 3, 4, just as it says, it's track. Uh, so that's how we're going to be using it. Right now, I have uh, it set up. If I go into Preferences, I go to Link MIDI. The Digitone is able to control the, I've set up three parameters to control drum bus. And then we have the note and the sync going into the Digitone. So that's how we're working with it in Ableton Live. And, um, also over bridge. So that's what this guy is for. And um, if you want to know more about that, that's a totally separate thing. But right now we're just talking about hardware and Captain Chord. So if I play, as you can see, it's moving along in the transport. I can also change some settings here. So that's set up for the MIDI. Let's look at the audios. I have the Digitone coming in to live and then I have the audio going out of the built-in audio so I can hear it and it'll record every single thing that's happening in the computer. I tried to record this earlier with Digitone in and out and I was missing um, the drums. So I didn't really want to mess with that. I know there's routing that you could do in the Digitone. There's a bunch of different ways you could do this, but this was the simplest way to record this for you guys. The input, I just turned all the inputs on. I'm not going to be using track four, but um, I just turned them all on. One and two is just the mains, and then output is just the built-in output. Uh, I've just got a low latency on here. All right, so now that that's set up, let's do what we need to do to get the uh, Captain plugins firing to the Digitone, and that you do VST output on all of the instruments. I have these three tracks that are already named bass, chords, melody, and... I will then change these to the corresponding tracks here. So we're going to be getting MIDI from these tracks. And I'll just select them all, monitor in, 
and then we're going to go through and throw external instrument on each one of these. Like I said, in other parts, there's multiple ways to route audio and MIDI in live. This is just the way I'm trying to do it. Digitone, channel one, then I'm coming back three and four, and then Digitone, channel two, coming back five and six, and Digitone, channel three, coming back seven and eight. The other thing we need to do on all of these, select specifically the VSTs. So we should be able to hear everything now. And that's coming from the Digitone, and we can tell because we see that it's editing it. So I'm not lying to you. No tricks. So that's hooked up. Everything is ready to go. So in this pre-chorus, there's no melody at all. I can go to idea here and then I can randomize things. I can uh, set up how many steps they're going to be, what the leaps are, what the directions are, octaves. So let's just put a crazy amount of notes. And then let's make the leaps insane. That's kind of what I like to do. Turn everything all the way up and see what happens. And so if you don't like it, you could just do it again, do it again, and it'll just change all the time. Kind of crazy. Uh, let's bring that back down. Let's change the leaps. And we can change the rhythm. So the density of notes. Oh, that's what I was doing. I was doing steps, like how far away the notes are, but I should be going density to do more notes. There we go. All right, let's bring those down triplets, length of notes, how many rests, how many, let's see, there we go. You can roll the dice again. You can move this loop over, so it just does these. So you could see the things are based off of what the chords are. So it's only basing off of the first two chords, even though it's rolling through the four. So you can get interesting stuff or you can mess stuff up. So uh, let's see, let's go to, let's make another idea here. Let's roll the dice. So here I can change it to where it's gonna use more of the root or the fourth or the fifth in the scale. Pretty simple, and then these lanes are, I believe, based off of um, how often that's going to happen. And you can have it follow the chords or not, just be based off of the key. By the way, F minor, if you don't see it. Uh, so I'm saying, like, let's put a bunch of six in there. Let's be weird. Let's, these yellow ones are kind of like caution. They can be... A little weird. Let's mess with the leap. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, don't touch anything because if you ever make a mistake, there's undo, but you know, if it sounds good, leave it. So that is that one. And I can also come in here and add more notes. I can just hit pencil and I can do brush. 
I can do brush and add um, multiple notes. You can do eighth notes and customize things and stuff like that. Let me go back here. Oh, too many undos. If you want to record to the uh, digitone, you've got to, uh, to be safe, let's go for one track and you can go through one by one and test it yourself. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to do one track and I'm just going to hit uh, record and play so that's ready to live record. And then I'm going to turn off that track and to double check, I'm going to make another audio track. I'll go to three and four and let me turn all these off just in case. Then I'll hit monitor in. So there you go, easy into the Digitech and that's partially because we set it up here um, to be able to record in. Where was I? I want to add one other piece of hardware, some analog here. We got some digital. I'm going to add the sub 37 luxuriousness and I'm going to hit play master. I've already got the in set up. Uh, I really could just set one because it's not stereo. I also have a little bit of chorus and a little bit of reverb on here. And right now we're not hearing anything. That's because through this routing, I need to make a track sub 37 and let's do in cool so that's set up and let me go into the MIDI link all right we're in business actually I'm gonna make another MIDI track let's do the old external instrument we're gonna do sub 37 we see I've already got my stuff set up. Do the same here. And channel one to the sub 37. And then we're coming back on 11 from the Digitone. One thing I noticed when doing this, I couldn't get the sub 37 to come through with effects. So I turned off the routing um, out of the Digitone and uh, so it should play yep. and only the effects are coming out of this one along with the sub 37 so yeah copy that I turn these guys off and these off and it worked next thing I want to do is I'm gonna turn the volume off on the sub 37 and just use it as a keyboard. That way um, everything actually stays in key. It fixes the notes for you. So if you play the wrong notes, I'm just playing in C and it's playing in F minor for me. So I can come in here and use the record and put in ideas and then port them back to the sub 37. Let's turn this to eight bars and then let's get record going. Cool, so I recorded that in. Should be able to, yeah, quantize this. Mm, no, let's leave that alone. So that's in there. I could come in the record area. If I want to fix things, I can just click, and start moving things around and add the pencil tool, all that type of stuff. So with that, now that we've got the MIDI that we want, we can now use the 
sub 37. with that and so we're going to do was that melody monitor in got the melody all right so we've got uh, everything set up let's put it at a decent level here <laughs> So if you're wanting to use the box to uh, sequence things outside of the box, you can use Captain Plugins to do so. And you can now with 3.0 uh, have a little bit more flexibility in what you have running through Captain Plugins, as well as have their ability to, you know, come up with the chart topping, chord progressions and things like that. So you can kind of mix and match your own style with the style that they're presenting there. Once again, um, you're not able to use it on a plane, which uh, I've tried to do. It needs the internet to be able to pull the chords down. Um, it currently doesn't even work uh, if you're trying to just build your own chords, but it holds on to what you have currently. So as long as you don't change anything, you should be fine. So give it a look, Captain Plugins. Um, it, I think it just has, I don't know how many free updates or unlimited updates, but it's in its third version and uh, they're not charging anybody for it. So go over uh, to the site and check it out. I'll put a link in the description. I'm Josh Spoon, Producers Kitchen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, notification bell, call your mom, feed your dog, all that good stuff. Talk to you later.